the boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and Real Illusion Forum. Um, so today at Head Shop, we're going to look at a couple of things. First of all, this is uh, pretty typical of images that come in that you'll find off the web. I like this image because it's nice and even lighting. You can see that we're always looking for even lighting. Now, you might say, well, Mike, there's some shadows on this side of the face. And there are indeed. I'm going to show you how we're going to fix those in a second. But first of all, uh, the real problem with this is the color is wrong. That's because it was taken probably in a setting where the color is just too extreme. But you can see here, it's just too red. Now, you can generate this afterwards. In Head Shop, there's a, a tool here that you can do to adjust the skin color. But this won't adjust the skin color of the face, only of the whole body. So, for example, if I come in here and I choose a lighter skin color like that, uh, maybe a little less desaturated there, bring, bring out some of that saturation. Something like maybe uh, that. Then what happens is it will take that color, and when I regenerate the, the skin texture, it will take that color and it will blend into the center of the face. So the center of the face color will remain the same, but the skin color is blended into that. Now the skin color is correct here, more or less, but you can see the face isn't. And it's really hard to fix that face color. Yes, you can go into to the uh, to this thing and try to adjust it, but you're, you're never going to have that right because now it's uh, now the diffuse color, if I go in here to adjust color, it's not going to adjust the color of the outside of the face at the same time. So it's, it's just going to be really tough to get it to be uh, the way you want it. So what you really have to do is do your editing in your outside program. So... Uh, so what I'll do is I, I take the original image, so I go in here to um, this original image, and I went into Photoshop and uh, brought the uh, that oversaturated image, which somewhere down at, there we go, there it is. So I took that oversaturated image, brought it into Photoshop, and then I selected the lips because I wanted to leave the lip color alone. I like that lip color, and I desaturated the face around there. And I left the hair alone, so I don't really care about that. Uh, I'm not going to really show you, because this isn't really a Photoshop tutorial, so I don't really want to go through that. But what I wanted to show you is that in HeadShop, um, the important thing is to... Oh, I, I guess I need to do that. The important, <laughs> the important thing is to uh, adjust your images outside as much as possible if you can. So on the, uh, the color of them. That's the, the really only adjustment you need to worry about. I wouldn't suggest adjusting anything other than the color of the image outside. Um, we're going to do the other adjustments after it's generated the head diffuse map. So, so, uh, so in this particular case, like I say, in, in Photoshop, what I did is I selected the lips, and then I, I selected everything else but the lips and desaturated that color. And we ended up getting exactly the color that I wanted for Scarlet. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so that will generate the face. And we're coming in. As always, whenever we do this, whenever we make changes to the diffuse map, and we are going to make changes to it, you want to make sure you save it off separately. Uh, because if you don't, when you regenerate the skin for any reason, you're going to lose those changes. So I'll show you that too. And we'll come in here eventually. Perhaps I'll cut this out. Oh, there we go. It's pretty fast. Okay, so Scarlet looks a lot better. She no longer looks like she's an Indian or Elizabeth Warren. Uh, but you can see the problem she still has is because of the shadowing on the side of her face, the face isn't isn't um, good on one side. So what we're going to do is we're going to easily fix this. We go into Photoshop right here and do our launch. Brings our launch in. And you can see that we have one side of the face darker than the other side. Well, I actually wrote a couple of actions, which I'll be glad to share on this YouTube channel, that copy one side of the face over to the other. In this particular case, that's not all we have to do, but I want to show you. So first I'm going to duplicate this layer because of that. Duplicate the layer, and then I'm going to work on the duplicate. So on the duplicate, we want to copy over the right side to the left side. So I have a dupe right and a dupe left. And if I run those, then it immediately dupes that. So then we go in using our healing brush tool, the magical mystery healing brush tool, which just really fixes so much for you in Photoshop. I don't know how I would live without this. I couldn't use any other edit editing program that didn't have this healing brush tool to it. And you know, get that kind of set. I'm not going to try to do this perfectly because you're going to spend 10 or 15 minutes on your images getting them edited here and getting them to look just the way you want them. 
That's pretty good. Okay, and yeah, maybe just a touch there. All right, okay. So now, if I if I merge down these layers and then saved it out, and I'm gonna do that now, I can always un, unduplicate my other. So I merge down, I go to File, and I go to Save, and now as it saves it out, you can see it's saving it out here. And as soon as it's done saving it, then if I go back in, you can see that it's now got that, that side correctly adjusted. And you can still adjust it further. I can see that maybe there's, uh, I don't know, maybe the nose is a little darker here than I want it to be. Could be a little darker in the middle. So I would come in to Photoshop again and maybe uh, just use the healing brush here to heal this. Maybe make this lighter here. There's some settings you can do on here to make it better. Again, I would spend 10 or 15 minutes on every image. Even the ones that otherwise look perfect can always benefit from a little bit of cleanup. And there's other ways of doing it. You can use other tools other than the healing brush, but I, I just like the healing brush because it works so, so well and so easily. That looks pretty good. Come here again and do a save again. You notice it's saving it out here. As soon as it's done saving, we go back in there, and you can see now the nose is, is nice. Pretty good. Looks pretty good. Okay, but this isn't really what we want, because now what we did is we also took one of the blemishes she has on her cheek off. But I'll, but So we're going to redo this again. I'm going to show you how we're going to save that blemish. But at the same time, I also want to show you something else that happens. If I like this, I say, oh, this is perfect now. But you know what? Her eyes. Let's look at her eyes when we close her eyes. Actually, they look pretty good. <laughs> I was going to say we'll redo her eyes, but uh, for any reason you decide, oh, you know, I might um, might want to redo something here. Let's say I do want to change those eyes, and I go down to the maximum upper eyelid for some reason. I want to change that. So now I have to regenerate the skin texture. When I regenerate it, it's going to regenerate it based on that uh, same photo that we just did. So we're going to see we lost all of our changes. So now we got different eyes. That's the eyes without the makeup, which... Some people like, but in any case, now we got to go back and do the editing in Photoshop again. But that's okay because I want to get that blemish uh, taken care of. So we'll go back here. We're going to launch this texture back in Photoshop again. So now for the blemish, as you can see, she has this nice little blemish on this side. And we want to preserve this blemish. So I think what I want to do is just duplicate this layer. Actually, I've started to do that before. Duplicate that layer. And then on the copy of the duplicate, I'm going to use the uh, controls to, um, to copy over. Uh, but I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Just I'll do it by hand instead of running that macro so you can see. So what I did was I went ahead and selected. Selected a little bit more than that. And then I move it over using the arrow keys to halfway. Okay? Halfway. And then I went ahead and edited it. Copy. And then I did an edit, paste. So now I'm pasting that upper layer on top of this. And then I go to the image, I'm sorry, edit, transform, and then flip horizontal. Okay. And then lastly, I'm just going to take that with the arrow keys and move that over on top of that image. And that's really all that's done in that macro. So the macro simplifies things. I only have to do one button press instead of doing all these things. I don't have to actually line it up each time because there is a little bit of art involved in lining this up and getting it exactly how you want it. But, uh, but in any case, and you can kind of see by the edge of that too, how you're lining it up, fit that edge. Um, so that's, and then I merge it down. Then I go ahead and merge it down. So merge down. And then we're right back to where we started from. And then we use that healing brush on that little edge division there. So we'll do that. I'm not going to bother taking out the shadow on her nose this time. So I, your time is very valuable, I know. So, now, how do we get that blemish is over? The blemish is still there, and we kind of want to keep that blemish. It's a really nice blemish. I'm not too concerned about this one little here, but I definitely want this blemish on this side. So, we already have that underneath this layer, so I'm going to drag the layer on top. Got that there. And the first thing I'm going to do is just select it. Just do a... Oh, oh, don't want to select it that way. Just select it there. Select that blemish. And I want to select and do an inverse and edit and then cut. So now I've got that blemish there. It's the wrong color for all of this. So 
what I would like to do is kind of color match it a little bit. So if, I, if I'm still in that layer there, I'm gonna go image, and eh, we'll do some level adjustments. Levels are always the best way to adjust things if you can. And, oops, that's pretty close. I'm not gonna worry about it being exactly accurate, and I'm gonna show you why in a second. I definitely don't wanna lose that blemish there. Okay, that's pretty good, okay? And then, of course, we're going to merge it down. Merge down always. And then guess what? <laughs> we're going to use the healing brush. And yes, that's really all, all it's going to be. It's just going to be a little simple thing. We don't want to overheal this because we definitely don't want to heal that blemish. Originally, the healing brush was designed to heal exactly things like that. Heal blemishes on somebody in, a, in an actual photo. But we want to keep that little blemish of hers. It's uh, kind of kind of distinctive. There we go. And then, if you remember, after we go ahead, we're going to save this out as an image. We actually want to export this because, again, if we export it and save these things, then we always have them just in case they get re redone. So now we've exported that. And then, again, once again, remember I showed you, we always want to do the normals because the normals are not going to be right inside of uh, Headshop. They're just not generated correctly. So we go, okay, we got normals. We'll do a file and we're going to export those as well export those in exports somewhere in there exports come on oh, i guess we're in exports <laughs> and there we go and now we come back here we can load in scarlet from exports there she is load that in and there she is, face all even. And then we're going to go ahead and load in those normals, too. Now, with woman normals, we're going to adjust those down a little bit. You can see right away that they're a little bit too, too much. So we're going to adjust those down and make them a little smoother out. Smooth them out a little bit. Uh, quite a lot. If we want smooth skin on a, on, a, on a woman, we definitely want. And remember, I went in and fixed that dark spot on there. But now we got our, our little, uh, little blemish, her skin blemish. Her skin is all evenly lit. And that's really all it is. It's pretty easy to work in Photoshop with your head. But I think most of the time you're going to find, particularly in the images you get from the web, but even those that are sent to you by your friends and family, you'll have to do some Photoshop editing with them. Hopefully this helps, and we'll see you on the forums.